47. Tom, I need a new suit. Oh, Mr. 47. What a pleasure. Oh. Yes, yes, I can tell you need a new suit. Now, please follow me. Come this way, come this way, come on. Come to my dressing room. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Old school Mr. 47. Crafted wall. Reinforced seams. Invisible stitching. And, of course, silk linings. What up, everybody? Welcome to episode 17 and part 1 of episode 18 of Hitman Absolution. This is one of the uh, short in betweens, kind of like that mission end of the road. Uh, this is one of a kind. Basically, just getting yourself a clean new Hitman suit and getting business done. Dickhead, where's the girl? <laughs> oh, Layla. See? Girls are one piece. You want to keep her that way? I want to see 10 million right now, like we agreed. Well, now about the money. I don't have that kind of signing authority. You what? You don't have what? Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, no, no, no. See, that's not how this works, partner. Because you better find someone who's got the authority right now, or the deal's over. You got the three. Well, let me talk to my superior. Three. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> Fucking asshole, what the fuck are you doing? God oh, damn it. Did that upset you? I'm sorry. <laughs> well, the fun's over, Hancho. Ten million right now. And you fuck with me, it'll be ten million more. Throw in the split tail. Okay, asshole. You made your point. You're a nice piece of ass, honey. What are you doing with Limp Dick? Pig. You have no idea. Hey, fuck off! Where's the girl? <laughs> hey. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll give you a call in a little while. I'll let you know where you can find Victoria. Come on, darling. Making money makes me horny. You gave that psychopath our money just like that? Yeah, well, he's not as dumb as he looks. Nobody outruns the agency.
What up, everybody? To episode, welcome to another episode of Hitman Absolution. I am Drew Sfer from Xbox Live, and this is Blackwater Park. This mission, I'm not gonna say is impossible, suit only, but uh, is probably much easier without it. Uh, so, on this run, I am taking the disguise. But, uh, this is another one on my list to go back and try and do entirely suit only. Uh, the tricky thing about suit only on this map is that, uh, the only way you can actually get into the building without being turned right back around is through the back, which is surrounded by police, janitors, and a plumber. So, it's very, very difficult to infiltrate without a disguise. So I'm going to wait for this guy to walk past here and we're just going to go and we're going to make our way over here where we're going to get our other disguise, our main disguise that's going to get us through this first objective of getting onto the elevator. So we're going to grab a distraction item here and this part took me a couple of runs to figure out because it's got a very well <clears throat> a very well planned out uh, guard placement so what we're going to do is now that that guard just walked past we're going to sneak over here you're going to hide here for just a second because uh, something I found out after many 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 restarts is that this guy will see you so we need him to walk away and then we need to wait for a couple of his buddies over there to do their thing so we're just gonna chill out right here for right now he's gonna walk past and then another guard right there in the upper left is gonna come walking this way so we gotta wait for him to move He's sneaky, sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky, sir. Um, yeah, he's going to walk up here and he's going to walk back. He's going to turn his back one more time after that. So, got to watch him. Almost done. Two more missions after this one and the walkthrough is complete. Giggity, giggity. So, yeah, you got to watch him here is he's going to turn his back around one more time. And when he does that, we're just going to sneak back over here real quick. Now he's gone again. We're going to create a distraction by chucking this thing here. Make sure the plumber's the one that reacts. He's the one that's like, Oh my god, what's going on over here? And goes and checks it out. Otherwise, you're boned. And let that cop walk by. Don't. Don't let him catch you. You gotta be careful though, because he's still on the other side of that van, and if you don't time this properly, he'll still spot you. Even through the van. Because he's apparently Superman and has x ray vision or something. I don't know. But yeah, just stuff the plumber here. And then we're good to go. Just a random plumber. So, you're going to make your way up through here. Let's see, this is why I'm saying suit only would be extremely difficult. There is another path you can take a little further to the uh, right of where we came in at, but it's got just as much stuff going on over there as what we've got going on here. But as you can see, there's guards and other people all over the place so getting suit only on this is definitely going to be tough um, well what we're going to do right now is we're going to chill here we're going to wait for two guards to make their moves one is going to come walking out of this room and another one is going to walk past us into that corner back there and then out that door once those two so there was the first one, he just walked past me. So now once the second one does his thing, we're going to wait for 
one of these other guys to turn their backs real quick. And then we're going to disable the uh, retinal scanner on the elevator. Yeah, he's going to leave now. And as soon as this guy to my left turns and walks the other way, we're going to sneak around this desk and uh, disable the retinal scanner on the elevator, which will allow us to pass to the next area. Having the gas can is useful for the next area, too if you uh, want to use that method to take out uh, Layla it is a challenge uh, but uh, I don't remember if I actually used the gas can or if I uh, approached it from a different method I think I poisoned her we'll see Mr. Dexter, he shot out the camera in the elevator. Coming our way. Yes, sir, Ray. You know, they say well can be a great burden, but I'm willing to take it on, I'll tell you. Holy shit! Yes! That's a lot of fucking do Ray me right there, and that's <laughs> ours! That's mine! Here, buy yourself some lipstick. God damn, that's a lot of money. Yeah. What? Fuck! Are you fucking kidding me? What does it take to kill this son of a bitch? I want him dead right now. You kill him right now, you hear me? You think you can do that? No, of course you can't do that, because you're a bunch of fucking pussies. I have to do fucking everything around here. Easy, Jesus baby. fucking Christ. It's okay, baby. No, it's not okay. That bald fuck is coming to kick my ass. Jesus, no, fuck. Layla's got what it takes to stop any man. You know, I think you might have something there. I'm counting on you. Come on, Angel. Let's go. I'm counting on you. I got this. It's number 22 on it's number 25. It's number 55 on the second floor. Jesus! <sighs> What's wrong with me, huh? You think I got dyslexia? Oh, God! Or you think I'm just stupid? Man, I'm probably just stupid. That's what my mom would say. Just stupid. You think I should get tested? Maybe I should get tested. Is there a test for dyslexia? You got a gun! How cool is that? Hey, it's just a sushi guy. Who ordered sushi? Miss Stockton did. Jesus, pick up the sushi and see Miss Stockton.